bullshit and lie. That wasn't me. I didn't poo in the sink. What's good everyone, it's your girl Catherine. I'm back with a slightly different video. Essentially, I'm gonna reinvent myself. I've decided. I'm getting a bit bored of old Catherine. When I first started doing my YouTube channel, I was really worried and shy. What's going on, everyone? What's this going on, everyone? Oh, what's going on? Right now, because I was concerned about the haters. But now, I genuinely do not care. So I can be my true self on YouTube. I can find my inner voice. Let me just find it quick. Okay. I'll look for it later. I've decided to reinvent myself in five simple steps. If anyone else is in need of a fresh start, then follow these steps and hopefully it will work for you. Let's get into it. Sorry about that really loud noise in the background. My laptop's got asthma. Step one is outfit. Every independent woman needs an outfit that is going to be breaking necks. Neck breaking. Everyone that walks in dead it has to be that little bit different because you've got to be your own person do you know what i mean you just got to express yourself wear what you like it doesn't matter if people are looking at you like who dressed you tell me now tell tell me now you look fine you look great they don't mean anything point that shouldn't have been born in the first place they're gonna be like that in my opinion <laughs> anyway outfit wise i have decided to go for this Don't mind me filming it on a completely different day. Pretty sure it was two weeks later. We've got this delicious blue kimono and the matching blue glasses that I got from a shop in Brick Lane in London. And these will be featured on my upcoming university clothing haul. Underneath, we've just gone for neutral tones, black and white. And it makes the outfit that little bit more versatile. This outfit is perfect for any occasion, um, such as... Um, well, any occasion really um weddings funerals Step two, dm at Catherine on instagram your bank details this one is extremely important i'm starting a secret club um the 16 digits on the front of your card are your username the expiry date is your password and those special three digits on the back of the card is your unique code to redeem a special surprise within the secret club so DM them to me now, right now. DM me now. Step three, change up your diet. Now, your girl eats so much KFC because it's literally my favorite thing ever. Recently, I've been a bit concerned as to whether I'm actually getting enough vitamins. So I've decided to eat better. Usually I just go and get something from the cupboard, like I'll just eat crackers just on their own yeah i need to stop eating so much junk food so let me just whip up something in the kitchen real quick today on bake off captain is made roll season with pepper salt and air the flavor is just exploding out of this baguette as is the butter mm, clumpy also it's got cucumber which is good here is the finished product and on the side orange Step four, make yourself uncomfortable. I had to Google this one because I was kind of running out of ideas. Apparently, I should, and I quote, try to do something each day that takes you slightly outside of your comfort zone. It can be as simple as eating alone in a restaurant if you're a naturally shy person, or finally wearing that teeny weeny yellow polka dot bikini despite the fact you know everyone is looking. Right, well, I don't own anything with polka dots on it, and I haven't done since about 2015. But there is something that I've been struggling with. I think this is more of a bad habit, but it's I've been struggling nonetheless. And that is controlling my Pepsi Max cherry addiction. I drink it all the time. Literally in a lot of my videos, I'm drinking it as well. So it's worrying. So it's worrying. What if I died from drinking too much Pepsi Max cherry? I don't mean to be a hypochondriac, but... I'm gonna die. Okay, <laughs> I've devised the perfect exercise to stop me from drinking Pepsi Max Cherry. I just have to resist it. If I can resist it for a couple of seconds, theoretically, I can resist it for the rest of my life. This is all part of 
of the process. Nothing's that easy though, is it? If you smoke cigarettes, just stop smoking for one second and then you've quit. Are you stupid? It's literally that simple. Why are you depressed? You study psychology, just read your notes. Okay, but how, how can I actually make myself uncomfortable though? I could just watch a film with my parents and then wait for a sex scene to come on. Finally, we have step five. Identify and eliminate toxic people from your life. First things first. That was pretty easy. To help me with the identification aspect of this step, I'm going to do a little exercise. Recently I've been wearing gems when I do my makeup. I've decided to put a gem on my face for every person who has let me down. Okay, let's go. Okay, so this one's for Netflix for not making another series of Atypical. This one's for my nan because she's in a wheelchair. This one's for Twiglet. Am I disabled? This one's for Twiglets because they exist. This one's for the Chinese government. This one's for me, actually, because on numerous occasions, I had to get an Uber to my labs because I woke up too late and missed the bus. This one's for my senior school canteen for serving us polystyrene and cheese for dinner. This one's for people who like celery. This one's, <laughs> this one's for my bitch mom. This one's for the, this one, this one's for the people that take up the whole of the pavement when you're trying to walk and you can't get past. This one's for my mum for birding me. <laughs> That's a joke. This one's for the YouTube algorithm for not recommending my videos. Maybe they're just bad. This one's for me for making bad videos. This one's... This one's for the men in clubs that touch your waist when they're going past you. This one's for Basildon. <laughs> Basildon. Okay, these gems are actually quite expensive, so <laughs> I'm going to stop now. Yo, I actually look like a euphoria character. So now that I've identified everyone who's let me down, we can go back to whatever I was doing before this. I'm not going to lie, if they were toxic, they were already gone from my life. So this step was really quick for me. But if you're trying this at home and you want a fresh start and there are toxic people in your life and you want to cut them off. In fact, even if you don't want to cut them off, then just listen up. Okay, listen. You have got to cut them off. You. I'm talking to you. Yes, you. I know that you love him, but he's not good for you and we both know that his feet stink. So don't just, just cut him off. And you, you think that your life's going to fall apart if she's not in it. But she has size 13 men's feet and her breath smells and she destroys you mentally bit by bit every day and you just don't realise. So, you know, just leave her on the side of the road, drive away and don't stop. You have got to cut off anyone who disrespects you, who makes fun of you for your ambitions and what you want to achieve in life, who is not there for you when you need them. They are not good for you love it might be very painful at first but down the line it is amazing if you can see on the face of it that someone is bad for you then take the first step or several steps and run far far away i could pretend that i feel like a new person after filming this video but i don't have to because i actually do this is the start of me being me on youtube because confidence is key and it does not matter what anybody else thinks one more thing before you go, please like this video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more content, I've got a lot of good stuff coming up like this. <laughs> I think my handbrake's broken. And this is actually a uh, pull up on your mate's grandma. This is so bad. Bars.com Good afternoon, just remind you that Temple State Also this Oh, behind, yeah, there we go And filming in the shop Thank you so much for watching, guys Stay crazy I'll see you soon Peace Bye Bye Bye